am Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect and welcome to this tutorial about aligning furniture models in Blender. Not only furniture models, but anything in Blender. Last week I was giving a workshop about how to use Blender for architecture and one of the persons that was taking the workshop, an architect, asked me uh, if there was any option or add-on in Blender that could help him uh, align existing furniture models in a project and i recommended i made a recommendation for this add-on here the popody align helper and i realized that i never mentioned it here on the channel so here we are with this short tutorial about this uh, add-on and uh, as you can see it's part of the blender official extensions repository so it's, so it's quite easy to install and use so let's take a look on uh, how it works. Let's go to Blender. And as you can see, I have this small or simple scene here with just a single chair object. And I'm already using Blender 4.3. You can see here from my version number that old small b it means it's the beta version because the stable really the stable version of Blender 4.3 it's not out yet. How do we install the add-on? If you go to the edit preferences and here under get extensions, if you type Popody, I can assure you it will be the only add-on that will appear under this name. Not really sure what the Popody means and if I'm spelling that correctly, but I can assure you the add-on is great. Hit the install button and you will see the options here on your 3D viewport sidebar. Let's create a few random copies of these uh, chair objects. Just select the chair and press Shift D. And if you want to open or quickly open uh, the add-on options, you can select your objects, press Ctrl Alt A and you will see this small menu here, this small radio menu. You will be able to align your objects to the top, bottom, left, right, distribute them uh, or uh, align them at the center here, center uh, horizontal, vertical, distribute them and move your objects to the ground or simulate a fall action. Let me press ask and we can try to move our objects using uh, the menu here. For instance, let's select these two chair objects. And if you press this ground option, it will move your object to the ground. Whenever you press a button here or uh, interact with the add-on, you will see a small menu here on the lower left side of your screen. And for instance, you can uh, align your objects to the ground. Uh, one important thing to note here is that my chair objects, they are uh, using uh, the origin point at the central axis, at the mid axis, at the bottom. This is extremely important because this is the reference point that I'm using or that Blender is using to align these objects. And for instance, one important thing or one uh, really useful thing about this uh, add-on, for instance, if you want to place your objects uh, above a surface, you can create something like a plane, pressing Shift A, let's move it here. Not really sure what is the Z axis, Z coordinate for this uh, plane, but I can select my chair objects, press this ground option. And here, instead of ground, I'll be using object. And if you select the plane, it will move your chair objects to align with the plane. This is incredibly useful. For instance, if you have a table, if you are uh, placing objects like uh, cups, uh, plates, and uh, objects uh, over that table, it's quite helpful. Another thing that you can do, of course, is to align your objects. Let's select this chair object here. I will move them to the side so it will be easier to see. And if I want here, I can align them 
to the center. And you can make changes here on the lower left side. For instance, it's uh, currently aligning my objects in the Y axis, but you can also align them with the Z. And if you want to use both of them, just press and hold the shift key and turn on the Y and Z, and you will see that it will align your objects. Now, if you want, instead of just aligning them, you can also distribute your objects. Let's press this button here to distribute our objects. And instead of using just a fixed amount, you can use an adjustment and you can uh, make changes here with this value. It will work as if it was the array modifier. With the benefit, uh, of course, uh, to uh, mix and uh, use different objects to make this distribution of entities. This was a quick tutorial. I hope you like this uh, this uh, add-on. It's quite useful to uh, organize a scene or a project, especially if you are using multiple entities that you have to align and distribute. This is quite used. It works really well for 2D designs as well, in case you are using, for instance, the Measure It Arc to uh, place CAD blocks into a design. And again, this is a free add-on. It's part of the Blender official extensions repository. It's, it's free, so uh, it's quite easy to install and use. And if you uh, found this tutorial useful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any future tutorials. And uh, don't forget to check my latest workshop, Blender 4.2, uh, Precise Modeling for Architecture, Engineering and 3D Printing. I use it Blender 4.2 for the workshop, but it works the same way for Blender 4.3. Links in the description. See you next time. Bye.